What's up friends and welcome back to The Nurse Nook. So today's video is gonna be something that I am super passionate about teaching others because of my personal experiences and just things I've seen in the nursing influencer world especially. And so I wanna share my knowledge to you guys to make sure that if you're going into nursing or currently a nurse that I am setting you guys up for success and to avoid any kind of problems with your employers in the future. Social media in the fields of nursing is one great, amazing. Um, the online community, especially on Instagram, is insane. I feel like nurses have the strongest community online. Um, so many influencers out there, so many funny meme pages that people literally go to like a cathartic therapy session. Um, the community is super, super strong. On the flip side, it can be very dangerous and detrimental to your career as a nurse. And so I'm gonna share with you guys some things that I have learned on my path and mistakes that I hope you guys don't make on social media because it is a very, very fragile place when it comes to working as a healthcare provider. And so I'm gonna start with the most important thing because if you listen to nothing else in this video, if you listen to this first tip, that is enough for me. So the biggest thing that is gonna get you fired as a nurse is posting on any form of social media about a patient. And when you hear that, you think, oh, I'm not gonna talk about my patients, of course not but I promise you it's deeper than you think. Posting about a patient is not just, oh, I took care of Mary Jane today, she was a 74 year old and she had pneumonia. People think if you don't give any kind of like specific identifiers that it's okay. Well, let me tell you, it is not okay. So in nursing school, they, t they teach a lot about um, never posting with any kind of nursing um, patient identifiers, which is true. If you post with any kind of patient identifier, whether it's um, age, even gender, race, anything like that, those will for sure get you in trouble. But apparently now it goes deeper than that. Hospitals are not just looking at, and when I say hospitals, I mean like management teams. And let me tell you guys, if you didn't already know, most large hospital systems have a team whose job it is to literally comb through social medias of employees and ding them on anything that is inappropriate. And not only that, especially if you have a large following, people are haters out there, one, just so you know. Um, if you have any kind of, you don't even honestly have to have a large following. If you have one person out there that just doesn't like you for whatever reason, they can screenshot anything inappropriate that you post and send it to your manager or your hospital system. And so posting about a patient, let me get back on track with that. It is not enough to just not put an age, a gender, a race, a name. What a lot of hospitals are going by now, if a patient can look at your post and know that you are talking about them, that is a patient identifier and that is essentially a violation of HIPAA. Certain hospital systems are definitely more strict than others, but honestly, I don't even wanna play around with that. So I see this a lot on social media and I literally don't, I don't wanna be that person that's like, oh my God, you should delete this, it's gonna get you in trouble. But in my head, I'm like, oh my God, you should delete this, it's gonna get you in trouble. I see a lot of people talking about like, oh, I had a patient today and they came in to the ER on their lunch break and they were, you know, they were there for eating salad and then they were vomiting and it was a huge mess, like whatever it is. Obviously you didn't give any patient identifiers, you didn't say a name, you didn't say a gender, whatever. But if a patient can look at that post and know that the nurse is talking about them, that is a violation according to the hospital. So in my opinion, just to be safe, do not speak about any specific patient encounters. If you notice, I rarely ever talk about specific patient experiences, and if I do, I generalize it. And so that's why you don't really hear a lot of story times for me about like crazy patients I've had or crazy scenarios I've had, because if a patient were to watch my video and say that, oh my God, that's me she's talking about, they can easily report it to my hospital system and I can get in trouble for that. And not even if a patient sees it, but if a hospital administrator, if someone sends it in, if they see that I'm speaking about a patient, especially in a negative light, uh, that is my ass and I'm done for. And so since we're on this topic, something I highly, highly recommend to you guys is to never show your badge online. Cover it up, 
squiggly it out whatever you can i never ever say the hospital system i work for and sometimes people will see me in the hospital like followers subscribers um and they'll comment on my either pictures or youtube like oh my god i saw her at such and such hospital please do not do that like one you're putting me in physical danger and two where people know where you work it's a lot easier to you know to reach out to the managers and say something crazy because let me tell you the way social media is nowadays people do that all the time it's like fun for people to just reach out to people's employers and say crazy stuff so i highly highly recommend that you do not post your badge or where you work online ever for multiple reasons and in addition to that if you post where you work online a lot of hospitals see that as you are representing them and you are an extension of them so things that you post they see it as a, an affiliation to them so say if you have your badge you work at like hca you're showing your hca badge and then the next picture you have you're like i don't know do something crazy like showing your booty hole online or something now your employer can potentially call you into the office you know your job may be on the line just because now you since you are showing where you work you are technically representing them and if the way you're representing yourself online isn't in line with your employer's values that can be terms for termination so it is super important to have what i call nurse etiquette when it comes to social media there are a lot of other jobs out there that are not healthcare related that you know talk about their clients freely online have no type of like privacy laws um, with who they work with and they can just go online and talk crazy about people that they encounter nursing is not one of them so as much as you might want to go online and talk about a ridiculous patient you had and things that they said or the story that they came in for or what their disease process was it is not worth losing or risking your job over so please if you want to share a story generalize it make it so that no one could actually see it and know that you're talking about them because these hospitals do not play okay in their eyes nurses are easily replaceable and if you are doing something that does not align with who they are as an organization you are getting cut quick i've seen it happen i have seen nurses fired for social media stuff and it is stuff that i personally did not even think was that bad and so that just goes to tell you how much these people do not play so at the end of the day it's always protect your license and protect yourself protect your job okay make sure that your bag is secured and that you are not putting yourself at risk by sharing things on social media because once you post it to the internet there's no telling who can see it so just be mindful and smart about what you're sharing online all right guys that's the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week